I never met this girl before. You're really going to want to listen. But Children's Hospital of Philadelphia has a worker named Susan Poltman who's here tonight. And we've been working together for years. But she told me about this incredible girl with metastatic brain cancer that has spread. And she just turned 15 and loves Ed Sheeran. So I said, well, he's coming to Philly, right? We can get her tickets. So we got her tickets and she went and she had a great time with her mom. I didn't get to go on that wish because I was at HSN in Florida. But I'd like to read to you a text message that she sent to me just two days ago. I am so lucky and sad at the same time. I'd trade everything to be healthy again. I know I can't. And even though this sickness sucks, and then she said sorry for saying sucks. <laughs> if I wasn't sick, I would have never been able to meet you. Thank you for making a difference. Even when you think you aren't, because you are. It's the little things. I'm glad to call you my friend and can't wait to meet you tomorrow. Do you understand why there's a night of wigs and wishes? I will never delete this text message from my phone if I live to 100. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome my new friend, Ariel. We've been waiting for this for quite some time, huh? How you doing? Not good? No. Oh, you feel great. Good. Well, I want everybody to see your beautiful face. When I tell you... You see... I can't read all the text messages to you because there's like friend confidentiality. But I think you can tell she's an old soul. She's so smart. She tells the doctors there's other things they should be doing. She does her homework. I just love this kid to death. I mean, I love her. She is such an incredible human being. We built a bond over text, didn't we? Yeah. I've been waiting to give you this surprise for so long. But we have to play a game first. Is that okay? Here we go. So this is how let's make look. She looks so confused. Do we have her on the TVs? This is great. I love it. Listen, you've never seen it. It's old. But you get to pick one, two, or three. Now, one door has an itty-bitty prize. One door has a eh. And one door has a really great one. So, guys, help her. What should she do? One, two, or three? Which one? Three. She says three. Hey, you guys give the worst advice ever. That's the, okay, you know what? We're gonna let her, uh, what do you want me to do with that? Oh, I forgot. The, Bowling gun. Okay. Um, thank you. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Another volunteer. Okay. Now, listen, you can keep what was behind door number three or trade it for one or two. You want to trade it for one or two? Yeah, I would too. I don't want that dumb thing. What? I don't know. Do we want to ask them for help or you just want to pick a number? What? She picks number one. Five bucks. What the heck? You can't even buy a 50-50 raffle ticket here for five bucks. I'll tell you what. You can take the five bucks and the bag with the bowling gun. <laughs> I love that face. Or you could trade them both and find out what's behind door number two. What's the deal, baby cakes? She's trading it for door number two. Let's see what you got. Turn it up now. Oh, you made a good choice, kid. Say hello to your new Darling, just friend. Right it's all yours. 
follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet yeah. I never It's good on the video, but she's better in real life There she is Holtman called me and said that this girl wants a Pomeranian, but it can't be a puppy. Something with, I guess, immunizations and immune systems. So I said, how do I find a Pomeranian that's not a puppy? Because they're so cute, they go to a shelter, they get adopted right away. And then you bring the music down a little bit. And then I went on Puppy Finder the minute Susan called me. And the minute I went on Puppy Finder, there was a shelter 70 miles away that had dogs uploaded, but it would say 12 weeks ago, two days ago, six weeks ago. And this dog said, now, you can't make it up. If you don't believe me, they're here. Where are you at? Stand up, put the light on them. And then when I told them who it was for, they drove 67 miles to chop so that her mother could meet the dog first. That was last week. Then they drove the dog another 67 miles four days ago so my mom and son could babysit it. And so they are, what a blessing. And now you've been blessed because you blessed her, right? That's what it's all about. Ariel told me she loved the dog. I'm so thankful you got your friend. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want pictures every day. We got you food. We got you clothes, leashes, and outfits, and tons of chutzpah over there. I'm trying to be Jewish because all my friends are Jewish. It's not working. Okay, Ariel, thank you. We love you so much. Let's say thank you one more time to Ariel. So what would you think of the Ed Sheeran concert? And she had, I had a wonderful time watching her. Um, she loved him. When the beginning acts were on, she was like kind of dozing off. And then she just recently learned how to play guitar by uh, Mr. Gary Rao, who's our guest this evening. Oh, and, um, I forgot something. I'm sorry. Ed Sheeran is sending his guitar pick from that concert to Children's Hospital tomorrow. So now you can play with Ed Sheeran's guitar pick. <laughs> sorry, I forgot. and he did the whole concert by himself. She was just in amazement. You know, she had a wonderful time. I can't thank you or anybody that donates enough. Thank them. They thank you, everybody. It's, it's truly appreciated. She just said thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. One last one. 